is our latest biosuit mock-up. Cool. We've worked with businesses here in the U.S. Trading Associates and with some Italian designers, Dainese. It is skin tight. Right. This is just a mock-up that kind of has the look and the feel of what the skin suit might look like in, in the future. So I can kind of demonstrate the mobility. It's uh, really easy to bend down. I'll probably flexible. spend a lot of time, you know, doing research. Sure. And the moon and Mars in, in these kind of configurations. And the trick to mechanical counterpressure is if we put it on and it's pretty comfortable, then we want the ability to, while it's on, to be able to kind of cinch it up, get that final pressure production. That's right there. Yeah. Right, so yeah. we can kind of show you a little demonstration. This is just a little mechanical system we're thinking about, but you can kind of see it cinching up, and, and sure enough, if I get it really tight here, it kind of applies more pressure. Is it comfortable? It's really comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice <great>. and warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and warm. I can show you with the, the helmet on. People don't think well, it looks it? like, yeah, a, like a space suit until you put the helmet on. Ah, cool. All right. Put that on. Need gold sunglasses in space. Where'd you go? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Something else. <laughs> but I can't talk to you too well in there. No, I can't. Hear you. <laughs> so uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, we're here at MIT. So how do you pursue uh, NASA research? All of this kind of advanced spacesuit work, the Biosuit Project, has been funded by the NASA Institute for Advanced Concepts. Okay. Their motto is. Think of really I mean, great, crazy ideas for the future to really have some revolutionary concepts or technology. So this is not a very conventional spacesuit design. So NIAC charges us with looking 10 to 40 years in the future and saying that if you can solve the technological problem in 10 years, they don't fund you. But if you, if you need 10 years of research and development or longer to come up with some kind of breakthrough concepts and technology. So we've been really fortunate to receive phase one, two, and three NIAC funding, as well as NASA has also pitched in. So our passion is spaceflight and human spaceflight. So all the students that work here with myself and other faculty members were sponsored by NASA Research in part. We take our inspiration and motivation from our research from some past work. For example, Dr. Paul Webb in the late 60s, early 70s, okay. came up with the space activity suit. That was the very first attempt at mechanical counterpressure or having a skin tight suit. Mm -hmm. So I think he had a great idea, maybe just 30 years or so before it's time. Now we have a lot of materials technologies that we can incorporate it. And as I mentioned, putting on the suit quickly, taking it off, but then maybe tightening it up when you have it on. So putting it on, taking off. We call that donning and doffing in the spacesuit world. Cool. And you have to decouple that from when you wear it and make it even tighter. So that's one of the challenges that, that he couldn't overcome, sure. mostly because of materials limitations. Now we can actually hope to solve that problem. Well, um, off camera earlier, you were talking about armadillo back. So <laughs> we get a lot of inspiration from nature as well. Yeah. Nature's one of our best teachers, for uh -huh. sure. If we could just replicate the skin, all of our work is a second skin suit. On the back here, you'll see something that looks kind of like an armadillo shell, Dainese's kind of patented, um, wonderful design. It's for sure. safety. Okay. If, uh, if I fall down, the Apollo, if I fall down, I have some nice support there. It's also, we need some hard attachment points because I need to hang my oxygen bottles. So I put the helmet oh. back on, you need oxygen to breathe. So you want some hard attachment points. And so this kind of armadillo shell in the back is, it's really flexible. I can bend down, doesn't, doesn't hurt my motion. But on the same time, I could be carrying oxygen tanks or a backpack. Sure. So imagine that I had a backpack on and it kind of attaches to this armadillo shell. Wow, well, you look great. I mean, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You want one? We'll get you. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. I'm steal something out of the job anyway. Okay. Listen, nice to meet you, Doctor. Very Joe. nice to meet Thank you. Thank you, at MIT over here. So uh, this is NASA 360. We're out.